hello dear worship ministers and how are we all doing okay so today we are looking at the attribute of those living in spiritual darkness reading from the book of first john chapter 1 and verse 6 the amplified version says so if we say we are partakers together and enjoy fellowship with him when we live and move and are walking about in darkness we are both speaking falsely and do not live and practice the truth with the gospel present. So what are the five clear signs of someone living in spiritual darkness? Number one, there is a disconnect from the source, which is God. No matter how beautiful, no matter how big a house is, once it's not connected to the power, the house will be in the dark. So there is a disconnection from God. When one lives in spiritual darkness, there is no word study, no fellowship with the saint, nothing about that person's prayer life, no spiritual discipline whatsoever. There is kind of disconnect. And number two, when a believer is not abiding, so this, 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 this minister chooses to be visiting and going, to abide means to stay in a place permanently. John 15, 15 says, abide in me and I will abide in you. So if we abide in Christ, we, Christ is in us. Remember, Christ in us the hope of glory. So we cannot just be visiting when we like. We must choose to abide. Because anyone who visits when he likes is in spiritual darkness as this person is not stable. We cannot abide in the light and darkness at the same time. It's not possible. We must make that choice to, to abide. And number three, a believer or a minister in spiritual darkness that is not living according to what is written in the Bible, not living according to what is written in the Word of God. We are guided by the Word of God. And anything outside the Word of God is not of God. Your word abide it in my heart that I may not sin against you. It is the word of God that is rooted in our heart, that guides our daily activities, that guides our daily actions. So anyone not living by the word of God, anyone not studying the word of God, will be in spiritual darkness, even though he claims to be a Christian. Number four, the fourth sign is that those living in spiritual darkness are not living in the fear of God. Because while anyone who fears the Lord will by all means avoid sin so to live in darkness to live in spiritual darkness is to live without the fear of the lord and the fifth sign which is the which is the last one is that this person that is living in in spiritual darkness is not living by kingdom principles every kingdom has its principles and code of conduct so also the kingdom of god has its rule the kingdom of god is where god reigns supreme and there are kingdom rules there are kingdom principles and the will of god is only done where his kingdom is established the will of god is only done where his kingdom is established the will of god can only be done where his kingdom is established so if the will of God is not done in our lives, we must just check, Am I, is the kingdom of God established in my heart? So anyone living in spiritual darkness is rightly living outside kingdom principles. Those that are not guided by the rules and principles of the kingdom are living in spiritual darkness. That first John that we read earlier, 1 verse 6, the New Living Translation says, so we are lying. If we claim to have fellowship with God, we we claim to be Christians, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth. So dear worship ministers, are we practicing the truth? Are we living the truth? Because it is one thing to teach the truth. It is one thing to live the truth. So to live in spiritual darkness is for somebody to be Christians, to be ministers, but still not living in the fear of God, not living by the truth. So we're going to look at the consequences of those living in spiritual darkness. So till next video comes out, just enjoy yourself in the presence of God and ensure that you are not living in spiritual darkness by letting the fear of God guard your heart and God bless you. Stay blessed.